This shaky 1923 flight of what was called an aerial merry-go-round was the beginning of the Big Chopper Club. Membership of this club got off to uncertain beginnings and it wasn't until the 1950s that regular attendances could be counted. Although this effort, developed by the eccentric millionaire Howard Hughes, was seen at the time to be a significant contender for the heavy lift abilities that big choppers were designed for, the reality proved to be quite different. Assembled from various spare parts from other aircraft, the XH-17 was a heavy lift rotorcraft that was designed to lift loads in excess of 15 metric tonnes. In flight, the rotors were designed to spin at a sedate 88 RPM. Since the rotor was driven at the tips rather than the hub, little torque compensation was required. With a range of only 64 kilometres, the XH-17 quietly disappeared from the big chopper scene. Other manufacturers had much more success and the Sikorsky S-64, now known as the Ericsson Air Crane, has proved to be a reliable heavy lifter and firefighter. The air crane can be fitted with a 10,000 litre fixed retardant tank to assist in the control of bushfires and it has achieved hero status fighting wildfires in Australia and many other countries across the globe. With various conflict zones worldwide, the demand for helicopters of a different kind has increased. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, have become major tools for the military. As a result, an Israeli company has unveiled a new mid-sized drone called Hermes 900, addressing the growing demand for tactical, medium-altitude, long-endurance UAV platforms. But what is new in the past couple of years are drones, unmanned air vehicles. They're certainly proving themselves in Afghanistan and in Iraq, and they become major tools for the military. The Hermes 900 weighs 970 kilograms and has a wingspan of 15 meters. It features larger multi-payload configurations, higher flight altitude and extended flight time of 40 hours without the need for external fuel tanks. But it's the Bell Augusta BA609 tilt rotor that everybody is talking about. The BA609 combines the speed altitude and comfort of a turboprop with the vertical takeoff and landing capabilities of a helicopter. It seats up to nine passengers and flies at twice the speed of typical helicopters with a maximum cruise speed of 509 kilometers per hour. Don Barber, Deputy Marketing Director for Bell Augusta, says the most unique thing about the BA609 is that it behaves both as an aeroplane and as a helicopter. The aircraft can switch from one system to the other by directing its propellers back and forth, changing the lift from the propellers to the wings. The most unique thing about the 609, the BA-609 tilt rotor, is that it behaves in flight, both as a helicopter and as an airplane, as you 